Hi dear students, welcome to our channel TJ CBSE classes. Today I am discussing the topic Joule's law of heating. Joule's law of heating. Here you know the working of uh, electric ion electric heater and the electric bulb in all these devices the heat energy is radiated when electric current is passing through it okay here uh, uh, these all instruments are working on the principle of joule's law heating okay then first is electric heater electric bulb Third one, electric fuse. These all instruments are working under the principle of Joule's law of heating. Okay, let's discuss about more details about Joule's law of heating. Joule's law, here we are considering one circuit, it consists of one resistance wire, uh, one battery, and a key. Key is used for all of all of purpose, on and off purpose. Here it's a battery, positive pole and the negative pole is there. Uh, due to this potential difference, uh, a current is flowing through this resistance wire. Due to uh, the current is flowing through this resistance wire, some heat energies are radiated. That's heat energy can be represented uh, as H, the heat energy developed inside the conductor or resistance wire uh, that uh, that is uh, that is directly proportional to it is directly proportional to i square the heat energy is radiated is directly proportional to the square of intensity of the current in ampere the square of intensity i is current in ampere then again is directly proportional to the resistance of the wire it is directly proportional to the square of intensity of the current and again is directly proportional to resistance here the resistance in ohm ohm is the unit of resistance then again is directly proportional to time time in seconds here I is in ampere, resistance in O, time in seconds. Then here H is represented as the heat energy radiated by these this instruments. Electric heater, electric bulb and electric fuse. That is directly proportional to the square of intensity of the current in ampere. It is again directly proportional to the resistance of the resistance wire in O and uh, is again directly proportional to time of the current flowing through this resistance wire in second. Then we can combine these three. H is proportional to I square RT or H is equal to here proportionality uh, symbol can be replaced by equal to that is H is equal to K into I square RT. This is the general equation for heat energy produced when I ampere current is flowing through this resistance wire. H is equal to K into I square RT. If H in joule, if H in joule, the value of K equal to 1. If H is in Joule, value of K is equal to 1. Here, K is proportionality constant. Then, H is equal to I square RT. It is equal to I square RT. Here, H is in Joule. If H in calorie, H in calorie K equal to 1 by 4.18. Then 
एच इज इक्वल टू वन बाय फोर पॉइंट वन एट आई स्क्वायर आती दिस इज़ द सेकंड इक्वेशन हियर हियर एच इज़ इन कैलोरी एच इज़ इन कैलोरी द टू इम्पोर्टेंट इक्वेशंस आर द एच इज़ इक्वल टू आई स्क्वायर आती इज़ इन जूल इट्स एसआई यूनिट ऑफ हीट एनर्जी प्रोड्यूस्ड इनसाइड द कंडक्टर then again h is equal to 1 by 4.18 i square rt here h is in calorie okay the two important equations are there for joule's law of heating and the other forms are other forms of uh, joule's law of heating we have we have H is equal to I square RT. It is equal to I square RT, but R is equal to V by I. But R is equal to V V by I by Ohm's law. By Ohm's law, R is equal to V by I. Then H is equal to I square into V by I into T. One I can be cancelled here. Then H is equal to V I T. Another equation. The first equation is is H is equal to I square R T. The second equation is H is equal to V I T. Okay. Then other form again here by Ohm's law. By Ohm's law. Then I is equal to V by R. I is equal to V by R. Then, then H is equal to instead of I square, instead of I square, we can put it as V square by R square. V square by R square into R into T. One R can be cancelled. Then H is equal to V square T by R. Three important equations are there. First equation is H is equal to I square R T. Second equation is H is equal to V I T. The third equation is H is equal to V square T by R. Three important equations are there related to Ohm's law. Thank you.